Good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you're all well and that you've been enjoying lots, having lots of fun, being creative at home. Remember that we are always thoughtful and doing our best no matter what we are doing, even when we are not at school. Today, we're going to have some fun. Continue with our under the sea creatures, we are going to draw a clownfish. A clownfish is the type of fish that you might see in that movie Finding Nemo or Finding Dory. He's orange and black and white and very, very fun to draw. He's got lots of little details, so you need to pay attention. But once he's drawn, then it's very easy to color in. So let's have a look. I'm going to start with his eye. He's, I'm going to make him, he's a small fish, but I want him to fill my page nicely. So I'm going to start off on the right hand side. I'm going to just put a dot there. I'm going to draw a biggish eye. Actually, that is quite small. I'm going to draw a bigger one around it. It's actually what I want to do anyway. And I'm going to leave a little sparkle that I'm not going to color in. Coming, I want to leave a little space about my fingers width. And down here, at an angle coming down, I'm going to draw the start of his mouth. And a clownfish has got a bit of a grumpy mouth that comes down. So leave us a finger space and to across, and we're going to do the top of his mouth coming down. Next, I'm going to finish off his mouth, and he has this very grumpy mouth. And then his lips. Remember, if we go too fast today, that you must just pause the video and then you can catch up or go at your own pace. You don't need to fall behind at all. You just pause the video and then press play when you are ready. We're going to do the top of his head and it's going to go, his, his main body part is a big oval shape. So picture where that oval is. I could even draw in a very gentle oval just to see where it's going to go. I'm going to follow that line now more or less. It goes up a little bit to start and then I'm going to follow around this oval shape to where his tail is going to start. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. I'm not going to go up as much at the bottom. I'm going to come a bit flatter. I'm going to finish that oval shape coming in. Right, he's got a nice oval shape. We're going to start the tail. Two curved lines going out where his tail is going to join. Now, boys and girls, this looks like a very odd fish. But remember that our brains won't be able to make sense of this picture because he's missing so many different pieces. So don't rub anything out until he's finished. Then you will be able to tell if there's something to be corrected. His tail is round. I can imagine a big round circle fitting in that space. Okay, it's a round, round tail. And then we're going to put on some more of his fins. He's got one big fin starting above his eye. And it's going to start there and it's going to come halfway down his back. Big fin. Nice big curved line. Nice and rounded. He's got a lot of rounded shapes. Another curved line is going to, I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to start and end near his tail. Another curved line. He has a further one down here. Sort of in line with the way this fin is at the top. I'm going to put another fin at the bottom. He also has two fins down here, so we're going to put those in. Your height just behind where the eye ends, over here in line with that, I'm going to put two, one, and then another one behind two. So he's kind of doing a 3D effect. Right, he's coming along. I'm going to start on some of the details now. And he also has another fin missing, so let's look very closely to what the next step is. I'm going to start at his face. 
and he's got a big black stripe that goes around his eye and down and kind of goes around his face I'm gonna put that in and this is going to be black I'm going to his fin his gill come in comes in here and a, a, a clownfish his gill's got a little spike on it so we put his gill close we don't want to leave a big gap small gap we've got our black stripe that's going to be black a gill and then I'm going to do another black stripe. I'm going to start near where this fin comes out. I'm going to go across and down and then I'm going to do another bump and I'm going to join up. It's almost like a sideways M, two little hills. Bump, bump. And I want that to be a black stripe at the end so I'm going to do another one next to it. Now we can put in his last fin, which is a big rounded fin on his side. We don't want it to be too small, we want it to fit the rest of him. So if I draw it too small, let me do it like that by accident now. Oh dear, I don't like that, I think it's too small. I'm not going to rub it out, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to draw in the fin how I want it to be. I can use that fin as my guide. And I can either leave it there as part of his pattern or I can rub it out at the end when I'm going to get to that part. All right, let's carry on with more of his stripes. I'm going to jump to the back now. I'm going to do all the easy ones first. At where his tail joins his body, there's a black stripe. And another one behind it. So there we have black, black, this is black, where this joins we're going to come down where this fin comes and where this fin comes up and we're going to put a beautiful curving line and that's also black, a big bold black stripe. Something similar over here Starting where this fin comes down, there's a curve that joins up to his fin. Now look carefully what's going to happen. I'm going to make it come down at the bottom. I'm going to jump in my mind behind this fin and come out in line with it. And I'm going to put this black here as well. But the top is a bit different. It's going to follow and it's going to go along the top of the fin and join up that black stripe. Right, we're doing well. We are almost done. We got some more details on his fin that we must do. So those are black. All right, we're gonna on his fin. We're gonna do a black stripe near the top third. And at the top here, he has sort of little spines in his fin. So I'm going to do that for on all the fins. A black stripe. And along the edge is this pattern of his fin. includes on the back. Put a moon shape around the back of his tail and that, that part has got some patterns in it and we want a black stripe as well along his tail. Lastly let's do this part here. Um, want that black stripe, that stripe with the lines are going to go 
and a black he has a black stripe this one is right next to you there so that is black all right now if there's anything that i want to correct now then i'm going to take my eraser and i'm going to correct it now at the end so i drew this fin that wasn't right and i'm going to rub it out if i wrapped it out before or i wrapped it out rubbed something out earlier i might have been rubbing out something that actually was really really great now clownfish live in sea anemones and sea anemones are poisonous except the clownfish so we're going to draw some clown, some sea anemone fingers down at the bottom here and they're really just a whole lot of sort of squiggly fingers you can do a whole lot let me do some behind in the gaps and they're sort of waving in the water so they can be pointing in different directions many people struggle to say the word anemone but actually it's got the name nemo and nemo knee so that's how you can remember how to say it how to spell it it's because nemo lives in an anemone anemo knee so we can you can always remember that i'm going to use my koki today so that it is nice and clear for you you use what you have your black pencil crown we know works well and we'll need orange and whatever other colors you might want for the background so let's start with these black lines Alright, we're gonna do his orange. I've done that, use the black, but I'm gonna use the orange pencil crown. He has orange, an orange face. I'm just gonna mark out quickly where the orange is. So I'm gonna spend some time coloring. Orange, black, white, black, and then this part is orange. Here's an orange fin and this is white and then this is all orange white and orange and there's a little bit of white at the end of his tail I actually make this black stripe go a little bit further okay so he goes orange, white, orange, white, orange, white, orange. Right, I'm looking to see are there any areas that need more attention that look unfinished or rushed rough I think this fin here looks a bit dull so let me brighten that up checking at this well good coverage I haven't missed, missed any important white spots because in this one the white that I'm leaving I don't want to be there I don't want other white spots that I'm not supposed to be there I think I'm going to colour in his eye, around his eye as well, orange, there we go, right, there's my clownfish, you can carry on, you can colour in the sea anemone, you can use any colours you like, the background, if you want to even draw some more little clownfish you can, but there we have him.
is beautiful. Hope you enjoyed drawing this clownfish. And tomorrow I'm going to see you to draw a sea turtle. So we can look forward to that.